Alrighty guys, well I just got home and I'm actually gonna do my clutch master cylinder with my dad, which is gonna be funny. So if uh, you guys don't like curse words, my dad is a basically a short jacked Italian with a mustache that likes to curse. So this should be fun. So let's get to it. Right now I'm just taking off the necessary shit so he doesn't have to worry about it. Like intake, intercooler piping, um, Little um, battery cable right there, and we have the shit blow off out. So let's get started. Holy hell, it's hot! Especially because I pulled my car in here, and uh, I'm a fan. But let me show you guys the beginning steps without you know taking so much time up. So as you guys as you guys can see, take the intake off, take that little red cover off, upper inner core piping. You take off your, what the fuck's this? Oh, you take off your strut bar, okay? Once you have that off, ball valve hose, okay? By the ECU, there's a little column here, which is this. You uh, unscrew the three bolts, you pull it over to the side, you take the cable off, which is a 12 millimeter, okay? After you do that, um, where I had my boost controller mounted here, so I had to take that off and just fold it. Okay, so then when you get down to the, the reservoir, you take off these two. Uh, I believe it's a 12, mil, 12 millimeter uh, wrench. These twist and stay on here, so that's easy. And you just pull them out. Don't break these, because then you'd be fucked. Um, right here, this hose. When you disconnect it, if you still have fluid in here, you want to take a bottle and put it under it so it drips into the bottle so you don't have brake fluid dripping everywhere. And so far, that's where I'm at. Um, you're gonna have to take the brake booster off to do this. Um, so I'm gonna have to take this bolt, that bolt, and some other stuff. But once I do it, I'll video after so you guys can get a better view. Oh, obviously, you gotta take off this plug too. That's clipped in up there. So that's basically step one. And then uh, we'll uh, work our way through it. So I'm hanging in there. All right, as you guys can see, the cylinder's out. Um, it basically just popped right out. Don't forget about the O-ring there. Uh, when you take off those two bolts off the studs, you literally just twist it a little bit, pull it, and it comes off. Now, you have to take this brake booster off, which obviously you gotta take this one line. Then, okay. Okay, you see those four bolts right here? Boom, 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 boom. These come off, cotter pin comes off. This brake pedal comes off, we'll push it up. We'll go ahead and take that off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. I believe these look like a four, uh, 14 millimeter. And then uh, take this pin off and then I'll push the booster out. So let's get to it. comes out okay now it's disconnected okay all right see as you can see you can push it in uh, I gotta go take off the line underneath the hood so let's go do that where's my pliers okay where the fuck is my dad my dad's probably sitting on the couch like a fucking bum okay now Definitely should take that line off first. Got the line off. So now you don't want to bend these too bad, but you can bend these. So you just want to move these slightly out of the way. As you can see, I didn't bend them that much. And then you basically just pull this brake booster out. Brake booster's out. There we go. Uh, best way to get that out. Obviously, it's to bend these a little bit. 
make sure you don't bend them too much and then you bend this part up and then you're able to pull it out Whew. as you can see there it is there's the problem right there um <clears throat> see this connector right where's that line going let me show you you gotta take this one off and then you basically follow this line all the way through and you take off whatever connectors there are. This line right here, see it? Boom, it goes all the way over here to your slave cylinder, which is right under here, you can't really see. And then you basically just unscrew that. All those lines come off, you pull it off. You also pull it off from there. And then underneath, I'll show you what to do. So first of all, let's go ahead and take off these. Committed to the party. Did you get it? Nope. It's not gonna. Unless you have a fitting wrench or. Your garage. <laughs> I got no fitting wrench. So we're trying to get this uh, slave line off and it keeps slipping. So we're looking for a fitting wrench right now. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. You're on video. You have anything you have to say? No? It's really on, huh? Oh, just break it? Nope. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. I'm using that one. There we go. There you go. See, I listened there for you. Yeah. Hey, can you take that one off too? Which one? All right, wait. Let me get this. Ah, oh, Dad, you fart? Yep. Oh, oh it's, uh, it's a pin. It smells like eggs. It's a pin. How do you take that off? Is like a cotter pin? No. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. That's disgusting. That's gross, Dad. <laughs> that's terrible. I, that's not coming off. You have to take it off from here. Let me see. Where's, where's the line where it goes? Right here. See that clip? Yeah. Look. See this clip right here? Yeah. Pull that clip out and it comes right out. Okay. Right? This one doesn't have a clip. Maybe it does, but that's why. That's permanent fitting. Pull the clip out. All right, which clip? Down here. See it there? No. Right here. See that clip right there? See where my third finger is? Yeah. Pull, pull that clip out and I'll pull right out. I have to use a pair of uh, uh, pliers. Okay, this clip right here. Sure. Okay, hold on. It's a clip right here. You just gotta pull off to get that line off. So, use pliers. Uh. Needle nose. Ow. Got it? Ow. Oh, it should come pulled straight out. I know, I'm just trying to get a grip on it. There we go, I got it. Got it? Yeah. All right, let go. All right, now pull the line out. Okay, let me come on to the car. The clutch, the bolt, the little thing right here. Right over here. It's hard to see. You just gotta pop that off. right? Yeah. And this clip comes off, and then you're able to get the that push out here. See it? Okay. Let me go ahead and take this off. In there. Here it is. 
basically you just take a screwdriver and underneath the car is this thing and it's on right just like this you just gotta pop it off all right tug it out I'm sure they're all 14s but here's a 13 for now let me know if that fits It's it? It's a 13? Oh, that's weird. Mm -hmm. You want the headset? Nope, you already got it off. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe, maybe the gremlin is the knock. Oh, maybe. Maybe the gremlin is the knock. It's, it's really a bolt. Yeah. So you have to take this one and that one off. Those two. This one and that one. The bolts under there. So I hope I'm taking the right one out. I hope so. Huh? Yeah, it looks looks like it's pushed out a little bit. I'm taking this one out right here. Yeah. That's it. Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution GSR. <laughs> if smoke your Camaro. Maybe, probably. I'm already sweating already and I'm not supposed to be doing anything. I did most of it, I just needed you to get these bolts out. When you, don't have, you asked me if I had a Dremel and they said no. And again, it didn't matter if you were doing it anyway. You're Superman. Superman sometimes. What do I do with that light? I, I brought it over here. Don't break anything. Because the, the single part goes on your head. I know where it goes. Well, you it's just got a small head. work like you do. Put everything on top and you'll scratch the car and all that. You're the one that dropped it in there. I didn't drop it in there. It just fell in there, okay? It's just laying on nothing. Well, you know where it went. Oh, it's down in there somewhere. <laughs> Had to be the 10 mil. Couldn't be the... Couldn't be the 13. Couldn't be the 10. What if you just cut it straight in the front? With what? With that Dremel. What are you gonna cut it for? It's the whole bolt has to come out. Oh. What they were saying was you'd go around it with a Dremel. Oh, I guess you mean. Maybe a, um, I mean I'm using the long extension. Yeah. Right, here we go. Oh, 
only good when they're on your head. Your head. What you put it on your head? I said they're only good when they're on your head, but that's not what I need it for. Uh. No. No freaking room in this fucking Chinese bullshit. I don't really want to do it this way, but... Good? Oh, you bust there. That's good. Yeah, but don't, you don't forget, uh, what he calls got to go through there. Bolts got to go through there, right? Yeah. With, a, with a nut? Yeah. I can't make the hole bigger. I don't want to make the whole bigger. Oh, there's, a, there's a plate that covers it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you're not worried about that, then I'll get this off. Come on, man. I shouldn't be using this one. give a shit it's like a little tack weld is what they did this is the only thing that's gonna make it get the other one this is hard there's two little studs that look like this and they're into the car like that so we're trying to cut the top off so we could just push it through because there's a nut on the inside underneath the Clutch pedal, that's literally impossible to get to. Not even Ant-Man can get there. So, my dad is uh, going to his work truck to see what he can find. Probably a drill. We don't have a Dremel. So, yeah, that's where we're at. So, three hours. Two hours per bolt. Not really, Joe. Fuck happened. Junk. <sighs> now I just need to have to put another blade on it. That I made it shiny. This is this is made to grind, not to. Uh. Alright guys. I'm gonna call it a night. I don't have the right blade for the Dremel. I have a glass blade and I need a metal one. The one that looks like a cone. So when you drill in, it makes the hole bigger as it goes through. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that tomorrow. I thought my dad had them, but he didn't. So uh, I'll pick up this video tomorrow. I'll go get that thing and then I'll be able to drill through there. Uh, yeah, so if you, don't, if you don't have that drill, I mean, if you don't have that, the right part or right tool, I wouldn't even attempt to do this because it took us about an hour and a half on the first bolt and I gave up on the second. So we would have saved about two hours with the right tools. So 
I'll get I'll be able to get it out in like 13 seconds with the right tool uh, the right blade so end the video now pick it up tomorrow and uh, I'm not gonna end the video now I'm gonna end the clip now and then the next clip okay whatever fuck it you don't have to, whatever who cares so see you guys in the morning peace what's going on guys just got up another day I'm gonna start finish this uh, this uh, master cylinder my dad actually came over and brought me uh, the saw, whatever, and has these, and able to grind that whole bolt off. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm still like, still like getting up. So <sighs> I'm gonna grind this off, and I have a haircut appointment at 12:30. So let me go ahead and do this, and uh, hopefully I can finish the master cylinder before 12. So it's nine o'clock now. So wish me luck. Miracle, guys. So, basically, the best way to do this is this grinder right here. And you grind it off. Let me get the light. Boom. All right. As you guys can see. Oh, okay. That one didn't go so well, but we got it off. This one is nice and smooth, and there's barely any like damage. You just grind off the top of that bolt, and then it pushes right through. So I'm gonna grind this one to make it smooth, and it pushes right through. So underneath the car, I watched a lot of videos on this, and they didn't really specify how to get to that bolt or where the bolt is. So I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so under here, underneath the cluster, there's this right here. And it sits. This thing sits right here. Just like that. It sits right here. Pull this out, there's a tab, metal tab right there. Pull it out. So now, just left of the spring, okay, you're gonna go up with your finger, and it's gonna be all the way back there, the top. That's where that bolt is. And the only way to get to that is by taking this little, that little computer thing off, and then you're able to reach up with your hand. If you're not able to get that nut like I wasn't, you just grind it off. You grind the top off and then you'll be good. That's exactly what I did. And I literally just took my finger and pushed it right out. So I'm able to put the master in now. Woo! That was a mission. So let's go ahead and put the master in. I have it set up like this. That's how you do it. I put the, the line on already. One crush washer on the bottom, one crush washer on the top. Just in case I wasn't able to get to it, I put it on now. I kept it a little loose. So I could just snug it and uh, yeah, let's go mount it. All right, I'm fucking sweaty as shit. So when, when this was like this, when I last showed you it was the wrong way, it was like this. As you can see, sticking through and then you have a gap underneath the hood. So this is what you gotta do. You gotta take the studs out. So basically just get one of these nuts without the lip on it, okay? And then you put this one on top, just like that. Tighten this one and this one at the same time. So you're gonna pull each one with the wrench and then you and then you take the wrench. Once these are super tight, then you take the wrench and you loosen the bottom one and the whole stud comes out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I've already done it to this one. And then you're gonna replace these studs with the kit it came with the little Allen key ones. So there's no, uh, there's gonna be no gap. So let's go ahead and do that again. <clears throat> Pretty typical of, me, typical of me to make a mistake. Um, you gotta take this piece off before you put it in the car. You can get it off while it's in the car underneath the pedal, but it's just way easier. You gotta screw this one on and then basically sits just like this. You got to use these two pieces like so. And 
it holds the grommet in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on and then we're all done. We just gotta put all this shit back on. Alrighty guys, brake booster's on. That was a pain in the shit. Make sure you don't put this top, um, what should we call it, banjo fitting on first. You gotta put that on second because the brake booster blocks you. Well, this blocks the brake booster from going on flush. So now I just gotta put the reservoir on, reservoir on, and bleed it. So no point of videoing that, it's just literally bolts up to there, there's a line there, and there's another line that comes right there. And that's it, I'll put all this shit together and uh, wait for my dad to get home to help me bleed it. And it's about the storm, Florida weather. Thought the nut was moving and the fucking shaft was turning. I'm telling you, everything is so fucking stupid, man. Whoever designed this should be fucking shot. Okay? You don't fucking make shit. Okay? So you know nobody could fucking do it. Okay? You have to figure fucking shit out all the time. Ain't right. It's just not right. Can't get my fucking hands up in there. My hands are too fucking big. You made it seem so easy. Just put it on, take it off, put it on. Take yeah, it off. everything's easy. Get this fucking thing threaded back on there. I'll deal with the lines. Yeah. So let's do that. You want to explain to my fans what you just did, Dad? Gravity bleed. So basically, clutch, slave. you loosen this to bleed the brake. You loosen this up, you pour fluid in there. Once the fluid goes down, bubbles start coming off. It'll self bleed itself. You don't need any special things. Now we're going to do the clutch. No, we're doing the brakes. Oh, we got to pump the brakes. All right. Okay, get it on there. Good. All right, push down slowly. Stop. Come on, you fuck. Can you push down more? No, no. I'll tell you if I need you to push it down more. Go. If we... Does it go... can't go in back of the nut, because if it went in back of the nut, then there's nothing to hold it. It has to go in front of the nut. There's, there's no other way it can go. I just don't see it. I don't understand how you're supposed to, you know, with that tab there. Fucking way. There ain't no fucking way that's going in there. Not with that, not with that fucking piece of metal there. There's no fucking way. No way. Unless the nut comes off in the back where you can get it on and then re-thread it. You have the 12 there? The nut is on the shaft. Uh -huh. If you're able to get the nut all the way off on the shaft and then put this on and then thread the nut back, no problem but it's not gonna go. And then when I try to take the nut off, it's too tight and it's unscrewing the whole fucking thing. That's when the thing came off. That's, there's no other way. It has to be that way or it's not gonna work. It has to. You cannot get this underneath with that tab there. But if the nut is able to take off here, uh -huh. then you slide it on, screw the nut back on, and that's it, and you're done. Yeah. It's that simple. So you just got, there, is there threads behind that nut? No, no, I mean, it's, I don't think, I don't know if it's the same, the nut is all the way back. That's the problem I was having. I just put a flathead screwdriver in between the holes. I mean, in between, I'll, I, well, no, 
I put the ball on the, the socket and then I held it there and then I twisted the other one with my other hand. Twisted what? The, the nut. To get it all the way to the back. Yeah, no, but it won't go any further. No? If, if it's able to go further. Everyone out there, bolt on. <laughs> it's not direct bolt on. Bullshit, all fucking lies. <laughs> Cocksuckers. Fit? Let me try and get it up in there. Didn't fit yet. It's close. A little bit more. Is it spinning or something? If I told you that the fucking thing came off, would you fucking believe me? After I get it on? Bull fucking shit. Didn't lock nothing. Well, after all that, fucking thing just falls right off. Like it wasn't even on there. Well, hopefully this video helped you guys install the clutch master cylinder. Uh, it's definitely not bolt on. You have to jimmy some shit. You have to make a whole new bracket. Um, the one that holds the clutch to the ball. Uh, you have to adjust your brake switch. Oh my God, you have to cut the fucking welds. It's so much shit. It's just not, it's not fun. Nope. So. Anyway, um, yeah, so next video is probably going to be pulling the turbo. I just want to, um, I think I'm going to do it before I pull the motor just to see if this motor, like, just, like, make sure it's not the motor. It's just the turbo while it's smoking. And then, yeah, so, so, anyway, if you guys like this video, push that like button, push that subscribe button, tell everyone you know, get me to 10K. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.